Hey, welcome to A Foreigner in the Philippines. Well, a little while ago, I went out and uh, foolishly, I think, uh, I bought a trombone. Uh, I've been running away from the trombone most of my life. I've been playing it since I was 15, and that's uh, more than a few years ago. So, haven't played it for six years. I uh, haven't touched uh, a trombone for six years. Um, and I began to miss uh, playing, uh, but of course there's no way that I would go out and spend the money on what you would need to buy a trombone, or so I thought. Well, a little while ago we were in Tagbilaran and we went to uh, we went to the Altoras Mall in Tagbilaran, and it, uh, lo and behold, wouldn't you know that fate would take us to where we wanted to go by going through the music department. And we went through there uh, and just as an idle uh, question I said to Beth, I wonder if they, I bet they don't have a trombone here. You know, no, who's going to want to play the trombone in the Philippines? So uh, she said, well why don't you ask? Uh, so foolishly I asked uh, and cut a long story short because it's been on another video they had a trombone and it was for sale under 7,000 pesos, which is not a huge amount of money. I was expecting that, well, since then, uh, s <laughs> some subscribers have, have been sending me uh, trombones that they've researched. I mentioned that my uh, my dream trombone, the, the trombone that I'm happy, I'm at home on a King 2B. It's a King Liberty 2B and it's a, it's a classic trombone. It's a trombone that my hero JJ Johnson played uh, and many others by the way. Uh, it's, a, it's a classic instrument and it's of course it's, it, it was made in the time when America made the best instruments. I'm talking now about brass instruments. Brass instruments, King and Con, uh, they were the ones. A lot, a lot of other instruments have been made by a lot of other companies, but King was made in Cleveland, Ohio, and it is, uh, it's the prince or the well, the king. <laughs> Sorry, a bad choice of words then, wasn't it? It's um, it's the king of instruments. It, king trumpets. I have no experience of King Trumpets but I know that if the trombone is anything to go by they must be incredible instruments and I think that they make uh, reed instruments as well so uh, saxophones but mostly when I talk to my fellow musicians Con was the king of <laughs> was the king of saxes uh, so th they all used to play cons uh, but even though con made fine uh, very fine trombones the king was just that so I said wow unless somebody's got a king that's covered in dust in their in their closet that they would like to send me it will just remain a dream yeah and it will because they cost about fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars. Now, is it that I could never afford to pay that? But no, it's not. It's just that in my heart, I can't. I can't actually justify spending that much money on something that I would play a few times a week. So I can. Well, I can put a family into, or we. We can put a family into a house for less than that, so why would we do it? Priorities change and certainly mine have changed. I might end up hating the thing again <laughs> and never taking it out of the case, so no. But when I'm confronted there with uh, a 7,000 pesos instrument that doesn't look too bad, so Beth says why don't you take it out and play it. Well, uh, if you've looked at the first installment of this little journey to playing the trombone again, 
you will know that I said uh, it sounded bloody awful and that it, it did sound bloody awful. Uh, now, I brought it home uh, and I did play a couple of notes which once again sounded bloody awful and now I've been doing a little bit of work on it. We don't have time or the inclination right now to s sit there on a $100 hundred dollar trombone and uh, and try to make a lot of sense of it but what I did as I explained is the whenever anybody plays a brass instrument especially which is what I know something about the muscles here have to really toughen up they really have to become toned and the skill that's involved in that is a lot to do with the strength of your what they call an embouchure. So what's happened to my embouchure now when I first started played the trombone here it sounded terrible and the reason it sounded terrible is because the mouth the muscles around here in relation to actually playing an instrument it's gone it's not there anymore any more than if you were a long distance runner and you didn't do any running for six years you wouldn't go out and enter for a 26 mile marathon you would expect to do some work before that and that's where I am ending up so what what did I do if this is a, a very limited, I know that this is a very limited audience that I'm talking to right now. Probably people who uh, have thought that maybe they could go back to playing an instrument is what I considered I would end up talking to, addressing. Now, what I've been doing is just literally just for a few minutes. Now, if you watch the first one, watch the first one and you'll hear um, what they called um, uh, pee and wind right piss and wind coming out not very much of a, of a note at all because for one thing you lose control of the diaphragm because you don't use it in quite the same way and you can't sustain the flow of air that is coming out and through the mouthpiece now the flow of air has to come out through the mouthpiece and if you can see this it goes into a bowl and as it goes into the bowl it goes and it goes down into the neck of the mouthpiece and then it comes out through this part and in doing that there's a vibration that is set up from here into this thing here and that produces the note and then the trombone amplifies it and as you extend the slide it changes the pitch so you have these different ways of tensing the muscles shaping them as they go into the mouthpiece so what I've been doing is just working on the muscles alone I think I remember the positions and I should be okay on that right so this is the improvement that I've made uh, and this is just the second in this series of getting back to playing a brass instrument let's make it more general so my lips are getting uh, better used they're more used again reaccustomed to actually being able to produce a note now this is not intended to be played like an instrument okay even though the old movie from here to eternity uh, the um, the hero Pruitt actually produces oh wonderful jazz just on his mouthpiece oh well that's in the movies uh, it's not in my movie so listen to what has been happening since
yes I know it's bloody awful but it's just the mouthpiece so that's my little talk for that it only happens when you put this into the instrument now this happens on many other instruments for instance there's very little sound comes out of a guitar it's only when it's played across the holes of the sound box that it actually produces that beautiful sound so this will improve and as I build up I'm trying to avoid uh, those disappointing bloody awful moments on the trombone by doing my work on this and I don't have to take the trombone out of the case plus I have a feeling that I will have to I will have to do some work on the trombone itself for which uh, in case just in case he's listening I might have to talk to my friend Matthew Slauson and if anybody's watching who knows Matthew Slauson you can tell him that I will be emailing him and asking him to give me the bums rush into trying to make some sense of a pretty crappy slide. Matthew, if you're listening, can you get in touch with me, please? So, thanks for looking in. This is a foreigner in the Philippines in my Getting Back to the Trombone series. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe.